हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग कंसल्टेंसी टिप्स टुडे आई विल बी डिलीवरिंग अ लेक्चर विच शुड बी सिक्सटी सिक्स इन माई सीरीज ऑन वर्टिकल पाइल लोड टेस्ट डन बाय कंप्रेशन डन इन कंप्रेशन रादर टू से कंप्रेशन पाइल लोड टेस्ट जो हम करते हैं बाई कंटलेज मैथड द गवर्निंग आई एस इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड कोड ऑफ विच इज टू पार्ट फोर टू आई एम शोइंग यू हियर two photographs one is the pile test up pile test setup test load setup with reaction loading complete on left hand side and the second one is the inside view of the pile load test where you are seeing two datum bars four dial gauges plate on the finished pile top with jack placed on it and over and above that the load being supported on girders now the next slide <laughs> this is the typical setup of vertical pile load test in compression by cantilever method this shows ki how much cantilever load is to be arranged as i have already told in one of my previous lectures ki initial load test jo hota hai wo 2 and a half times of the design load pe hota hai plus 25% extra cantilever and jo routine load test hota hai that is done for 1 and a half times of the design load of the pile Plus 25% extra cantilever is to be maintained over and above that. <laughs> Now, the reaction cantilever placed on a platform should be supported clear of the test pile. The center of gravity of the cantilever should coincide with the axis of the pile, and the load applied through the jack should also be coaxial with this pile. The reaction to be made available, as I have just told in my previous slide, for the test should be 25% more than the final test load. proposed to be applied on the test pile <laughs> now how do you prepare the pile head the pile head should be chipped off to natural horizontal plane till sound concrete is met the projecting reinforcement be cut off or bent suitably and the top finished is smooth and level a bearing plate with a mark at the center should be placed on the head of the pile for the jacks to rest on it over and above which you are uh, having your load test up load test setup platform being supported on the requisite girders on a suitable platform size now the application of load the test should be carried out by applying a series of vertical downward incremental loads with each increment being about 20% of the safe load of the pile that is ki agar hamara pile ka safe load maan lijiye 100 ton hai तो 20 बीस टन के हम लोड इंक्रीमेंट्स देंगे ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट नाउ हियर आई एम शोइंग यू आर इन साइड प्रीव्यू ऑफ द टेस्ट सेटअप जिसमें यू ऑल आर शोइंग यू ऑल आर सीइंग दैट अ पाइल फिनिश्ड स्मूथ उसके ऊपर हमने एक बियरिंग प्लेट डाली हुई है जिसके ऊपर हमारा जैक है जिसमें हमारे दो डाइटम बार्स लगे हैं और जिसपे हमारे फोर डायल गेजेस हैव बीन प्लेस्ड दिस इज द इनसाइड व्यू जो हमारा पाइल का टेस्ट सेटअप होता है बाकी यू आर सीइंग कि हमारे साइड सपोर्ट में फिल्ड अप बैग्स हैं विद द लोकली अवेलेबल सॉइल जिसके ऊपर वी हैव सपोर्टेड द मेन प्राइमरी गार्डन और इन जैक्स के ऊपर भी हमें जो स्पेस होती है the space within the jack and the main girder is to be suitably filled up by suitable sizes of circular plates maybe they can be square or rectangular plates this is just to fill in the space being available in between the jack and the main primary girder over and above which secondary girders are being placed and then the wooden parts and the load and then the load arrangement is being made so in this test compression vertical load vertical downward test method load is applied to the pile top by means of a hydraulic jack against rolled steel joist or suitable load frame with adequate cantilever and the settlement is recorded by suitably positioned dial gauges or linear variable differential transducers lbdts now the settlement the settlement is recorded with minimum four number dial gauges of 0.01 mm sensitivity 
these dial gauges shall be placed symmetrically at equal distances kyunki maine which i have uh, shown you in my previous slide from the piles and held by datum bars resting on immovable supports at a distance of 3d subject to minimum of 2 meter from the edge of the piles where d is the pile stem diameter finished pile head level may be measured prior and after the load test by suitable survey instrument this has been written in the code now how do you interpret your test results the safe vertical load on single pile whether it be an initial uh, load test or a routine load test the code the clause 6.1.5 of indian standard is 2911 part 4 2013 says that it should be the least of the two and what this code has done they have divided the piles for and up to pile diameter including 600 mm diameter and for piles more than 600 mm diameter so for piles less than and up to 600 mm diameter the code says that the two thirds of the final load at which the total displacement is 12 mm unless otherwise required or the 50% of the final load at which the total displacement equals 10% of the pile diameter in case of uniform diameter piles and 7 or and or 7.5% of bulb diameter in case of under end piles so the least of these two values is to be considered as the safe vertical load on the pile tested similarly for piles more than 600 mm diameter the code has changed a little bit it says that two third of the final load at which the total displacement is 18 mm or 2% pile diameter whichever is less unless otherwise required as per the site requirement and as per the directions of the engineer in charge concerned or 50% of the final load at which the total displacement equals to 10% of the pile diameter in case of uniform diameter piles and 7.5% of bulb diameter in case of under end piles so the least of these two is to be recommended as the safe vertical load on the test pile of the test pile tested for this vertical pile load test in compression now coming over to my last slide the recording of data and presentation the pile test data essentially contains three variables namely time load and displacement that is settlement these are to be recorded for every incremental load applied jo ki maine aap logo ko bataya tha which i told you ki it is 20% of the safe load each incremental load the data is to be presented in the form of load settlement curves with settlement on x axis and load on y axis maybe in one of my future lectures i would all be i would be discussing with you about the essential components of the pile load test report and how it is prepared that uh, lecture may soon be released now hope aap logo ko ye mera lecture pasand aaya hoga keep on sharing your love on my channel keep on subscribing to my youtube channel geotechnical engineering consultancy tips thank you thank you very much